Okay, so this is probably going to be the last recording of uh, Morrowind for me for now. Um, right, I was going to do the Uncle Sweet Share stuff. Thought she was the one who was Let's investigating it. it. Or is it her? Ask her questions, but be quick, sword wizard. I'm quite busy with the moon trigger investigation. Okay, she's the one. You knew at Fort Frostma, so I guess you haven't heard. Over the past couple of months, several people across Salstheim have been poisoned with moon trigger. Someone has been slipping it into their food and wine. They experience temporary euphoria and complete exhaustion. I've been charged with finding the culprit, bringing him to justice. Recently, our cult priest, Jaleen, was poisoned. So it is now an officially an Imperial matter. If it were just the locals, the Imperial wouldn't couldn't be bothered. But now one of our own has been infected. Last week our cult priest was stricken with moon sugar euphoria after drinking some wine. I don't have the manpower to deal with this problem, but my superiors are going are getting impatient. He wants the culprit dead. I know you're not a member of the Imperial Legion, but I'd like to hire you to help in the investigation. I'll make it worth your while. Are you interested? Okay, I'll help you, Severia. Just tell me what needs to be done. It's simple, really. I want you to kill the man responsible for the moon trigger poisonings. Jaleen, our cult priest, was the most recent victim, and he actually caught the glimpse of the culprit. It was a man wearing, oddly enough, a unique white Colovian fur helm. Bring me this white helm, and I'll know the deed is done. Now go speak with Jaleen at the cult shrine here in Frostmoth before you depart. He may have some more information. Okay. You feeling all right? Maybe you should see a healer. I already know where Uncle Sweet Share is, but uh, I'll, I'll humor her. It's the priest. So what do you want? Hey, Jeline. Hello, Nane Lorne. I've heard you you've been speaking to Severia Gracious about the Moon Sugar investigation. I'll do whatever I can to assist you, of course. Yes, I was too stricken. I too was stricken with the moon sugar euphoria. It was just last week after a cult service. I sat down to some wine, and moments later I realized something was wrong. I am a long abiding man, Lane Norn, and have never experienced anything so free in all my life. The laughing, the dancing, it was horrible. And then, as I drifted off, I saw him. A strange man, old and frail, certainly no Nord wearing a white Colovian fur helm. But even stranger, stranger was his silly song. It's rather embarrassing, really, I mean. I was deeply affected by the moon sugar, and I'm not even sure I can trust my own recollections. But, well, I heard singing, and it was a very strange tune, more like a nursery rhyme. Something you'd sing to a child, maybe. I only caught a little of it. Something about a workshop in the snow, and lanterns all aglow. And I remember something about candy. Oh yes, there was lots of he he he's and ha 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 o's. It's all so absurd, I know. Yeah, snow. Can't get enough of it up here. If we could export it, we'd all be rich. I questioned Jolene at the Imperial Culture, and a week ago, after drinking some wine, Jolene began to feel the effects of moon sugar euphoria. He claims that while in the drug state, he saw a frail old man, probably not annoyed, wearing a white clothing for helms. Julian can't trust his recollections, but he thinks he is uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah. It's Uncle Sweet Sweet Share, obviously. Okay, so it turns out the workshop is just a little bit south of here. Of course I'm getting attacked a bunch. There's just so much wildlife on this island. Including feral Nords. Alright, uh, there's the cabin. Uncle Sweetshare. Get to see Uncle Sweetshare. Alright. Yep, there's this poorly buried Khajiit. Candy, candy, he makes so much. Uncle Sweetshare has a magic touch. So it's back to the workshop in the snow with lovely lanterns I'd, all I'd like to road. read your dialogue, please. Okay. Hee hee, haha, can it be? A visitor in my workshop. 
How can I help you, sweet Nainlorn? I have candy treats to spare if you come in search of happiness. Oh, so you're here to ask me about the moon sugar investigation. I see. He 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 he. My candy treats are tasty, they are, and filled with special sugar and love. They bring happiness, happiness to everyone on Solus time. That's what I do, you see. I give out my special sugary treats and spread happiness throughout the land. <gasps> Excuse me. It's difficult work, but also very rewarding. Manashi certainly thought so. Ah, Manashi, the dear lad. I already heard about him. That's a very gracious, so grumpy. Maybe I should visit her next. Because that's what I do, Nainlorn. I visit the sad and miserable and spread all the happiness I can. It is the way of Uncle Sweet Sharing, you see. Now that Jeline, there's a sad, sad boy. His true love has disappeared, don't you know? Very sad, very sad. That's why I sang to him, Nainlorn. He needed something extra, something special. Sugar and song, it cures all. That's me, you see, Uncle Sweetshare. Just like in the children's rhyme, when I found that old song in the lyrics. The lyrics moved me like nothing else in my life. I knew that at that moment who I truly was and what I was meant to do. So I had this workshop built. I made treats here, you see. Delicious treats with the special sugar. Moon sugar. Hee <laughs> hee, ha ha. Then I spread my cheer throughout the land. But it's all a secret. Shh. You're mad and must be punished for your crimes. Promise you'll stop poisoning people and I'll spare your life. Just give me your white helm and I'll bring it back to Severia Gracious as proof of your death. Give my helm. Stop sharing. Stop sharing my sugar. Hey. Ho. Hmm. Distressing. Most distressing. But you will let me live. I do so love to live, Nenorn. Alright then, we have a deal. Here is my white helm, and you shall you have my promise I will not spread any more cheer. I will keep my candy all to myself. That won't be so bad, will it? He 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 ha 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 What a weirdo. Ha ha what's this? Why it's little Nenorn come to pay Uncle Sweet share a visit? I've been a good boy, Nainlor, I promise. He 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 Strange creatures, horkers. Oh wait, that's not what I was asking. He doesn't even know the skull. Okay, back to um, Fort Frostmoth. Divine intervention. Alright, Severia. Nainlorn, do my eyes deceive me, or is that a white Colovian fur helm? Then the deed is done. The moon sugar poisoner has been brought to justice. Excellent work. The Imperial Legion will not forget you, or your assistance. Here, take this gold as a symbol of our thanks. The white Colovian fur helm has been delivered to Zaveria Gradius as proof that the moon sugar should have a touch. Okay. All right, let's go to Vardenfell. Let's hear it. I don't remember where I marked. Did I mark here? I mark. I mark somewhere around here. Well, if I do um, CV intervention, that'll take me back to Vardenfell. <clears throat> okay, so there's uh, one other thing. So there's a, there's this uh, official pug. Plugin. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, it's like the, the Siege of Fire Moth or something like that. Um, I forget how to start this quest. Damn it. I thought there was supposed to be like another boat here. Maybe I just have to swim there. It's kind of a long distance. This little island over here. I just love these little ancestral tombs that are put in these random obscure locations. 
Just this, the sense of exploration you get from that. It's part of what made me fall in love with this game in the first place. I don't know if this little island is added. Or I think it might have already been here. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a boat to this island, but uh, I can swim fast, so it's okay. So this is an unofficial plugin, or an unofficial add-on, which is also a plugin. And it adds this little island here, or archipelago rather, and a quest. called the Siege of Fire Moth. It's a free plugin. I'm supposed to join up with some other guys. Can't find them though. Fire spell. Fire blast, there it is. Ooh, uh, archers. Okay, hearth heal. I did this many years ago and I seem to remember there were guys who were supposed to meet here. But I'm not seeing them. I probably could do this alone with how high level I am. I will try it. I think the story is that this fort was taken over by, like, uh, a witch and his undead hordes. So we, the quest is to take it back for the Empire. Still trying to, trying to see if I can find the guys that are supposed to be here. Just running past all the skeletons. Eh, it's just more skeletons. Alright. That's how it's gotta be. Fine. Go straight to the fort. I can do this by myself anyway. Fire blast. I don't have enough magicka. Of course I don't. Storm magicka. Dying. Ouch. Jeez. Oh, man. Okay, so here's the proper way to start the quest. I'm supposed to talk to Celis Gravius. 
Your timing is excellent. I am looking for someone to lead a hand, uh, lead a band of adventurers to Firemoth Fort. This Imperial Fort offshore to the west was captured years ago by the undead horde of Grun, who likely marched out of the ocean and overran the garrison there. The survivors were forced to leave behind the ward of Akavir, and I'm looking for someone to lead a group to retrieve it. Are you up for it? I can lead this group. Show me the way. Excellent. Head out back to the dock. You'll meet your, your crew there. Talk to the boat captain about the trip to the Fire Moth. May the divines go with you, and with our blessings. Oh, I can't go back out to the boat. Come on, Sokushius. I want to go out your door. Jerk. At least I can levitate. So we have another boat here. This is my ragtag group of idiots. I'll follow you. I hope you know what you're doing. I've seen worse. Lead on. Lead the way, we're here to kill. Are you ready to sail to Firemoth Fort? Hold on, and we're on our way. No. Okay, let's go. So this is the quickest way. We should go this way. Let's save LP28. Should probably clear the way for them, because they're probably a lot squishier than I am. Alright, uh, fire blast. They can't cross here. I don't think they can. Where are they? Oh, they're there. Can you guys swim? Yep, they can. Alright, we're gonna attack them the back way. They won't see us coming. I'm gonna teach you guys some advanced tactics. called sneaking up on the enemy from behind. It's very advanced, I know. It might, might take you a while to comprehend it. Because you're a bunch of morons. Um, see, that's what I was talking about. They're getting stuck on the rocks. I wasn't kidding. Come on. Come back here. Your pathfinding can't be that bad. Alright, where's the other person? There you are. Okay, let's go. Somebody else. Where? Where is that archer? I hear arrows coming from somewhere. Where? Oh, you're 
inside the rock. That's fair. That's the rock spell. I need a fire blast. Alright, now he's dead. And we're good. Oh, not quite. There we go. Where are you guys? Come here. I need to gather my party before venturing forth. Come on. nearby. Uh, more archers. Yeah, they're weak. Let's go inside. That probably won't be any better. Yep, lots of skeletons. Still can't rest. This kind of reminds me of an arena dungeon. Probably the largest Imperial Fort interior that we'll see in the game. Really wish I could find a place to rest, that'd be nice. any of these people have scored a hit yet. Just doing all the work for them. That's fine. I'm used to it. Great hall. Yeah, this is a huge fort. If you ever wanted to see a fort as large as an uh, Elder Scrolls Arena dungeon, here you go. You can't escape me. All the enemies are skeletons, unfortunately. But it fits with the theme. The big bad is a lich, so of course he'd be summoning a bunch of skeletons. Fire Moth Dungeon. Oh, I don't know why there are so many rats. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Killing so many of them at once. Okay, I need more of this. I hope I'm not damaging them. You will die where you stand. You're going to 
Oops. I set up. Okay. That was a fuck ton of rats. Excuse me. Oh, secret passage. Fancy. Who's this? Jahanir. Thank you for finding me. The shrooms have kept me alive for some time now. Lead the way, and I'll help any way I can. <laughs> it's a very graceful landing. All right, if I wait a little while, they should heal. Back to the dungeon. I don't even know if this is where we're supposed to be. This is a pretty impressive fort. They have a, a mine under the basement, or under the dungeon. killed living gods before. Some skeletons are not a problem for me. Although hurting NPCs is kind of a problem. I have to wait for them. It's a bit like hurting cats. Come on. Kind of dumb that it's the, just the same enemy every single time. It's not all that interesting. I think we're near the end though. Tomb. I think this is where Grun is. use best attack so I can do my um, I can do my chopping attack because that does the most damage oh no I'm gonna die And we got him. The Ward of Akavir. Fortify attribute luck. It's a nice shield. Not as good as the Leiden's Ward. 
Alright, what do you guys have to say? I've seen Mars, lay it on. Okay. Uh, we're, we're kind of done here. We don't, need to, we don't need to do anything else. Guys. There's nothing left to kill. Man, it took me all the way to Ebonheart. Oh well, it's not that far to sign it in. Okay, now we need to talk to Celus Gravius. What is the situation with Firemoth Fort? It is impressive that you return with the Board of Akavir to me. We must avenge our humiliating defeat there. You have found it. After these many years, at last this ancient emblem of the Legion's honor is restored. Here is a real reward of 3,000 gold, with my thanks, and your val valor shall be noted in my dispatches to the Imperial City. Safe travels, my friend. So I'd that's... Be happy to talk. that's my that. pleasure, really. So, um, that's more wind. There are a lot more quests you can do, lots of side quests, but, uh, this is, uh, pretty much all I'm willing to record. I do want to play some other games. Um, I might do some streaming in the future. I, I was thinking of doing Knights of the Old Republic 2, but uh, very, very few people watch Knights of the Old Republic 1. So I might, I might do that, but maybe just in a different format, maybe I might do streaming. I want to stream some other stuff too, because uh, I feel like my channel's been stagnating. So I want to branch out to other stuff besides Elder Scrolls stuff. That doesn't mean I won't stop uploading Elder Scrolls stuff. I was, I'm always going to be Elder, uh, uploading Elder Scrolls stuff, because I am Nubidium 3 after all. You know, I've named myself after something from Elder Scrolls. So, yeah, in the future, there will be some different stuff, because I, I feel like the channel's kind of been stagnating. I've been sitting around 1,600 subscribers for a few months now, and I've been at, I first reached 1,000 like three years ago. So I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna try a few things. Some of you may not like it so much, but uh, other people may, may like it more. This, this quest is really boring. It's just a tax man. And he was killed by a dark elf back in the village. So you, if you expose him, you have to kill him and then you can tell Sokushius about it. Um, anyway. So yeah, Morrowind. It's um, my first Elder Scrolls game. I I really enjoyed it. Like as a as an eleven year old, it was really amazing to me. It was uh, my first role playing game, aside from Knights of the Old Republic. I must have been twelve when I played it because I think I played this after Knights of the Old Republic. But um. Yeah, this, this game is very near and dear to my heart. I, I played it back on my old original Xbox as a as a wee lad. So I have a very strong emotional nostalgic attack, attachment to it. And I really did enjoy playing it for, for you, for those of you who have watched me play it. But uh, I think it's uh, time to move on to other games. And other stuff. Um, Might be some Daggerfall in the future. We're, we're getting pretty close to finishing up Daggerfall Unity. 
I mean, the, the main quest is completable, but we're still working on the spells and stuff, and uh, I finished some interface things, but I, I, there's still a lot of work to be done on it, so probably be a few months before I actually do like a, a another Let's Play of Daggerfall with Daggerfall Unity. But uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. And this is OpenMW, by the way. This is a, a re-implementation of Morrowind's old Netimmerse engine. This, this uses modern tools for it, so it's a lot more efficient. And it's uh, basically feature complete. I mean, it's it probably doesn't act like one-to-one -one the way Morrowind acts. I mean, it's, it's a bit enhanced with like the graphics and stuff, but like even some of the mechanics are different. And there's no shadows, too. They, they still haven't implemented shadows. That's unfortunate, but um, there's always time. So, yeah. I'm just I'm going to try a few things with this channel in, in the coming days, and we'll see how it sticks. Until then, this has been Elder Scrolls Morrowind, and I've had a blast.